In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this nice and simple cinematic title animation inside of After Effects. So this is Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition and this is going to be our main composition. So let's call it main and set it 1920 by 1080 let's go with 30 or 60 frame per second so let's go with 60 frame per second and duration make it 5 second and hit ok and for this title animation we need a video clip that i am going to use as a background so just go to your project window right click on that and click on import file and select this uh, traffic video clip that i found on pixabay.com and i will provide a link in the description so go to the link and download this uh, video clip and click on import and drag this video clip into this main composition and right click on that click on rename and let's call it bg for background hit enter and let's do some color adjustment with this so go to effect and preset and search for levels and let's apply this level on this uh, background layer and let's do some settings so just go to this uh, channel rgb and set this uh, gamma value something around 0.5 hit enter and let's down this output white 220 maybe and hit enter and just go to your channel and change this to red and let's down this red gamma value uh, 0.5 maybe hit enter and just change this channel to green and let's down this green gamma value to zero and just go to your blue channel and set this value to hit enter all right and let's apply one more effect on it so just go to effect and preset and search for directional blur and let's apply this directional blur on this uh, background layer and just set this blur length value something around 75% hit enter and just change this direction to 90 degree angle hit enter and it's looking like this and as you can see there is a black border around the edges which is looking very weird so let's fix this so just select this background layer hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and just set this scale value 105 percent and hit enter all right and it's looking much more better and now let's create a text so click on this t button and select this text tool and just go to this paragraph if you can't see this paragraph option then go to window and check this option paragraph all right and click on this center text option and then go to your character and select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using this go bold font style and set it to regular and set this uh, font size uh, something around 200 pixel and set this character spacing 50 and let's type over here whatever you want to type all right and then go to your alignment and click on this align horizontally and click on this align vertically and now let's type your second line over here so click over here and let's type your second line and select this second text layer and click on this align horizontally click on this align vertically all right and now let's set the text so select this move tool and just select this cinematic text layer hold shift and press up arrow key and just set it like this and just select this second line hold shift on the keyboard and press down arrow key and just set it like this and now let's apply some texture on the text so just go to project window right click on that go to import file and for this time i'm going to import this concrete texture that i have given a link in the description so go to the link and download this uh, concrete texture and click on import and drag this texture into this uh, main composition and right click on that click on rename and let's call it texture and just go to effect and preset and search for 
brightness and contrast and let's apply this brightness and contrast on this texture layer and let's do some settings so just uh, set this contrast value something around 50 hit enter and let's down this brightness and set this brightness value negative 25 hit enter all right and as you can see it's uh, looking much more better and now let's place this texture inside of the text so drag this texture below this cinematic text layer and go to this track mat if you can't see this track mat option then click on this toggle switch edge and just select this texture layer and change this track mat to alpha mat and hit shift on the keyboard and press up arrow key and just set it like this all right and now let's create a duplicate of this texture layer so hit ctrl d to duplicate and uh, just uh, place this second texture layer below this second text layer and change this track mat to alpha mat and just hide this uh, text layer all right and as you can see we have a texture on both the text lines all right and now i'm gonna animate this text so click on fit button and now we have to take our null object so just go to layer new and take a new null object and this is going to be our text control so right click on that click on rename and let's call it control one hit enter and select this texture and this first line and pick this pick whip and attach this with control one and select this control hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and now you can control the text and this texture both at same time as you can see and now do the same thing for this another line so just go to layer new and take a new another null object and right click on that click on rename and let's call it control 2 hit enter and for this time select this second texture and second text line and pick this pick whip and attach this with control 2 all right and now just select these both controls hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and go to the end of this animation and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go to very beginning of this animation and just drag this uh, first line over here and set this value something around 1050 hit enter and just drag this uh, second line on left hand side and set this value 900 hit enter all right and as you can see it's looking like this and now select these both keyframes and hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them all right and now we have a smooth animation now and hit s on the keyboard to open this a scale property and uh, go to very beginning of this animation and click on this a stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to the end of this animation and just set this uh, scale value 90 percent and hit enter all right and as you can see we have a scale animation also and it's looking nice and close this uh, control layers and now let's apply a blur effect on it so we have to take a new adjustment layer so just go to layer new and take a new adjustment layer and right click on that click on rename and let's call it blur hit enter and let's apply a camera blur effect on it so search for camera blur and this is our camera lens blur so let's apply this camera lens blur on this blur adjustment layer all right and select this layer and go to on two second and uh, set this blur radius zero hit enter and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on blur radius and go to very beginning of this animation and set this blur value something around 25 and hit enter 
and now select this layer hit u on the keyboard to open these active keyframes and select these both keyframes hit f9 to easy is them and now go to the end of this animation and let's create an aspect ratio for cinematic look so we have to take a new black solid layer so just go to layer new and take a new solid layer or you can also hit ctrl y to take a new solid and uh, let's call it black hit ok and let's add a rectangle mask on it so select this layer hold ctrl and double click on this uh, rectangle tool to add a rectangle mask like this and select these both control points hold shift on the keyboard and press down arrow key three times like this and select these two control point also hold shift and press up arrow key three times all right and it's looking like this and then check this option inward and now we get this type of effect as you can see and it's almost done so just go to very beginning of this animation and go to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye